Today we're going to visit a water mill which is part of a museum in the town of Bourne in Lincolnshire. It used to be a carpenter's workshop and the water mill there is it has been rebuilt and the water supply is via underground stream from Derbyshire because the um, Bourne itself is just on the edge of the Fen where the Fen meets sort of slightly higher ground it's an unusual place for a water mill but it works the guy we're going to meet is Jim Jones who has had a lot to do with uh, rebuilding the water mill and getting it going um, it has got a gearbox and a form of generator on it but it's totally inefficient so we're going there today to have some experiments give some thoughts what have you so let's just zoom in there's the wash So the museum is about here on West Street, somewhere in this region here. And as you'll see later, there's quite a big mill pond. So we're going to take this generator along to try it on the water mill. We're going to belt drive it. The alternator that's already on there is a three-phase motor and there are capacitors in the control box that excite one of the phases correct make magnets so it turns it into a generator but you're having to put power into it to try and get power out whereas a permanent magnet you don't have to put electrical power into it for it to start generating all you need to do is turn it so here we've got phenotype taper lock bushes for fitting various pulleys and hopefully we'll try different pulleys on here and do an experiment to see which way the gearing should go and there at the back and I'll just zoom in now This is a three phase rectifier. There are the three phases in, that's AC in, DC negative out, DC positive out. So when this is running 24 hours a day, this will get warm. So what we'll do is we'll put a piece of tube over there with a fan here. So the fan will be constantly blowing losing the heat. It's a one kilowatt generator. I think the water wheel will be well boss of it and once we've got everything up and running connected to a grid tie we may very well find we can put a bigger generator on so when we source a grid tie we'll want it to be big enough like a three kilowatt one something like that so we can there is room for expansion Here's the mill that we've come to see. Ten foot water wheel. And there's a gearbox and generator. And there's a bit of a problem. So we're going to investigate. This is a three phase motor used as a generator with capacitors and then hopefully we can see this label here. The ratio of this gearbox is 139.5 to 1. So basically it's 140 to 1. Here's the middle of Bourne, this is the mill pond. Let's 
Let's just go and have a look at the water wheel. That's my mate Alan, keeping well out of the view. just wiring the DC output of this wind save generator and we've taken the fan off that end of that motor generator put a belt taper lock belt pulley on down to the generator there screwed on a bit of wood with these two Saxon blocks of stone here to hold it in place and now we've got a is it 800 watt yeah, 850. 850 watt storage heat element. Storage element. And this wind save generator will give out 230, 240 volts DC because there's a rectifier on the back. But open circuit will go over 400. So let's um, see what entertainment happens. Jim and Alan have just taken the safety block out and now. They're just opening the sluice to get this wheel going. And what we've got is we've got several meters and a resistance. So on the amp meter, which it looks like we've got it the wrong way round, but that doesn't matter. It's showing 1.2 amps yeah. and one point yeah one. and the generator's whizzing away Alan's just gonna see what voltage we're on wherever the meter's gone I've lost the meter Al alright 110 volts So we got 1.6 amps at 110 volts nominal, 120 volts, 1.8 amps. Jim will still be winding the handle probably. You can hear that gearbox whining. Right, is that resistor getting warm? Do that again. <laughs> right, 
Right, we're on to 106, 1.6 amps. Is that as fast as the wheel will go, Jim? Um, well, I we can try. I'll shut that other race down the other side. Yeah. And see if we get more water coming this way. Brilliant, way. brilliant. Because this is about the normal level of water, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we want to be working under normal conditions. Yeah, it's, it's about the same level. If you could do that, that'd be brilliant. So, oh. oh. What, this camera here? What? Is it on or off? I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I never know you. <laughs> right, so Al's just checking the speed of the shaft. Has to go right in the centre. A hundred. So that'd be a thousand revs. Going from about ninety, I'm just speeding up a bit. About a thousand revs. We're, we're just having a change of gearing, but uh, what we're doing now is a effectively a stall test. Alan's putting that piece of wood lever in on the pulley and the wheel slowed right down. So in other words, the whole thing is really overgeared dramatically. You can almost stop it, in fact you have. So the gearbox has got too high a ratio. Yeah, you've got to talk there, that's too Yeah. Yeah. You've got the power. Maximum power at the right speed. Yeah. So what we've done is we've changed the pulley on this generator and it's just slipping away and I'm just lowering it to put it into gear. Effectively putting tension on the pulley. Are we there? No, That's better. Yeah. Right. right, let's see how we're doing now. Hopefully with a lower ratio, because the gearbox is too high a ratio, we will uh, get a bit more power out. Right, we have got two point, say, well it varies, but 2.2 .2 amps at 140 volts, which is a bit more, but we just, it's again... No, maybe one bucket doesn't hold yeah, quite as much water. Here we need to see this, you. Stop having a private conversation. A private conversation here. <laughs> it's not for you two. Right. So Al's just saying that there's a fluctuation in the wheel, which we heard earlier on. Can we see those volts, Al? Fluctuating, please. If you would be so kind. Okay. I do. Right. Here we can see it. See, it's going up to 50 and then down again as the wheel goes round, and then up again. That was a, a, a wider scale. There you go, and the currents varying as well, with the wheel. And we just tested the speed on the generator, and it was 400 revs. And we really need 500 revs. So, the gearbox at the moment, as we imagined, is proving to be a bit suspect. How warm is that heater getting out? It should be red hot, shouldn't it? Right. Further investigations required.